Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a live swatch of some new limited edition items that recently launched from my brand Moonshine Manny. First, I'm going to be swatching for you the exclusive polish pickup shade that I created for the junk food theme that's going on this weekend. So I want you to be able to see how that swatches before the event is over. It goes through this Monday evening. So you just have through then while supplies last to snag your bottle of the first polish that you're going to see me swatch. It's called Once You Pop. It's inspired by sour cream and onion Pringles, which are really popular in my house. So you can't leave your can of Pringles unattended. Next, I'm going to swatch for you the late April Facebook group custom, which I collaborated with a group member to create for the monthly custom. It will only be around for a couple more weeks. And also, I'm going to swatch for you the Moonshine Manny Comeback Beaches 2.0, which will only be available while the batch is still in stock. It just has one batch available. Then I'm going to swatch for you four more limited edition creations that we made together um, last weekend at our Kentucky Derby Swatch Fest mix along. These are polishes that we use kind of a randomization of what components should go into a polish plus I take what you guys are interested in into account and we come up with four custom polishes for the month so I'm going to share those with you. And the final thing I'm going to swatch today is my Hella Handmade Creations or HHC exclusive which is coming available on May 14th. It's available from the 14th to the 21st. That's when HHC is. It's always the 14th to the 21st of each month. And I have my second to last magical creature for you for this month and I'm inspired by Drogon, one of Daenerys Targaryen's dragons from the Game of Thrones. So we're going to swatch all those things. I'll meet you back here in just a minute. Like I said, we're going to start with my Polish Pickup Exclusive. So this is called Once You Pop. The theme for May is junk food. So I was trying to think, um, honestly, we usually have a lot of junk food at my house. But the one that disappears the quickest is a can of Pringles. Those don't last more than like a minute in my house. And sour cream and onion is my favorite. So I picked that one and I wanted to do this really lovely chive green metallic. And it has magnetic gold to green shimmer in it. So I describe Once You Pop as a metallic chive green filled with iridescent flaky shifting orange gold green, hollow flakies, and a gold green mag magnetic glow. So that's two coats on my nails, the macro shot, and this is only going to be available through tonight at the Polish Pickup website. So hop on over there if you would like it. Next up, we have Beaches 2.0. This is our comeback shade for this month on the Moonshine Manny website. This is a soft, sheer pink to nude Crelly filled with iridescent flakies and shimmer. This is a 2.0 version because the iridescent flakes from the original have been discontinued, but the selections I've chosen now um, are very similar. So this is a sheer shade. You could wear this as a topper if you want. I do have a very strong visible nail line, but I really like just a kiss of color kind of nail polish and it has tons of rainbow flakies and shimmer to really make a stunning look on your nails. So that was two coats of Beaches 2.0 and it has one batch available. So it will sell out as soon as that batch sells out. The next polish is our Facebook group custom for late April. This will be around till about the third or fourth Monday in May. It's inspired by this adorable picture here. It's called It's Getting Warbler. And this is described as a neon pink Crelly filled with micro glitters in brown, hot pink, and bronze. The neon pink that I made for this polish is a warmer version. It's light and slightly warmer than other pink neons that I've done in the past. So there's that shade. All right, we're going to look at the Swatch Fest group, uh, the Swatch Fest customs that we created together at the Kentucky Derby mix along, which was so much fun. This first one is called Off With Their Hats. It's inspired by that picture of the late Queen Elizabeth right there. And this one has um, lavender hollow in it. It has a strong gold green shimmer. It has that purple base, of course. And so super shifty, holographic, really fun kind of um, strong lavender periwinkle-ish purple blue. So that is that first shade. We also created a red polish inspired by this picture up here in the corner. This is called Run for the Roses, and this is described as a rose red jelly with a strong red pink gold iridescent glow. There are two different 
shifts of multi-chrome flakies, one that goes black to red and one that goes red, copper, gold, and it also has black flakes as well. So Tim actually lived in Louisville, Kentucky for a little while. And um, so we actually went back there to visit his grandmother and we went to the Kentucky Derby and we took a picture outside of it. We didn't actually get to go in, um, but it's really fun. And he knew a lot more about this stuff during the mix along. So that was fun, too. Here is actually Tim wearing this blue hat. Um, I ordered the hat for me to wear at the mix along, but it was too big. It kept sliding off my head while I was trying to... Um, play along and mix polish for the day so he ended up wearing it for the whole event and so this polish is called blue ribbon bonnet and it's inspired by that hat he was wearing this is a royal blue jelly packed with aqua to blue to purple iridescent flakes navy violet teal multi-chrome flakes fuchsia and aqua metallic flakes and purple to blue scattered shimmer so you could also pot potentially wear this as a topper as well if you'd like to but i just showed it here two coats on its own and there's some of the shiftiness and the last polish that we made together on that day is called i like big brims and i cannot lie you guys are so funny when you name these polishes um this one is a black jelly filled with fuchsia metallic flakes hot pink micro glitters and pink and silver hollow glitters and i think three different people suggested this image in the facebook post where you guys can Put your inspiration images for what we should make for the day so i definitely wanted to do a polish inspired by this black and pink lots of hollow fun glitter and flakies so that is the final polish we made at this last swatch fest mix along the next one is coming up the final saturday in may and it is a Candyland theme so all those polishes are available on the Moonshine Manny website, which is linked in the description bar below. Now, one final polish. This is going to be available on the Hella Handmade Creations website from May 14th through May 21st. This is Drogon. It's a deep teal filled with purple to violet iridescent flakes and a fiery red copper gold magnetic glow. It's inspired by Daenerys' dragon named Drogon from the Game of Thrones series, of course. So this is the second to last polish in my Magical Creature series that I'm doing for Hella Handmade Creation. And, um, and I really, really like this one. I love how that magnetic plays against the um, green. So yes, love this shade. It won't be available on my website though, so I'll put the website down in the description bar below. All right, so those are all the new limited edition items from Moonshine Manny, and the websites to shop will be in the description bar below. I really appreciate you stopping by for this video, and I appreciate your support of my small business as well. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll see you back very soon. Bye!